Hey guys, it's Curtis. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. And um, I'll, I'll probably do a little update video on how I'm feeling, because you know that last video I did was a little bit like, oh my god. Anyway, I'm here, I'm back. First video of 2018, well no, but first proper video of 2018, and it's gonna be a cake tutorial. It's a little bit Valentine's themed. It's got a heart biscuit on top. You can see a little bit there in the background. It's just there chilling. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do a pink cake. I don't really need an excuse to do a pink cake, but I was just like, let's just do a pink cake for Valentine's Day and just be like, yay, because it's my favorite color. So all over Instagram, I've even seen these sort of geometric designed cookies, the geometric designed cakes, and I think it's like a cake trend at the moment. And I just wanted to give it a go. I don't actually know what geometric actually kind of means. It just kind of, I kind of just made this all up as I went along with this cake, but I, I, I do like how it's come out and you guys can be the judge if it's actually a geometric design because I don't really know. But um, yeah, it was just a fun little idea I had. So in this cake tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do, you know, how to decorate the cake. I'm also gonna show you a sable pastry recipe to make the little heart cookie. Um, and how to decorate it with royal icing and how to do the chocolate sale as well. So lots and lots of stuff going on in this video. So I hope you enjoy it and we're gonna go straight in there. So on an eight inch cake board, I'm just gonna attach my six inch cake to that with a little bit of buttercream. This is just my vanilla cake and I'm spreading some ginger and rhubarb jam on there. This is just one of those things I got for Christmas. Well, I didn't get it for Christmas. My mum got it for Christmas. So I thought it'd be fun just to put that in the cake. And I'm also putting my Swiss round buttercream in there with a piping bag and then spreading that down with a pilot knife so it's nice and flat and even. I do that on all of my four layers until I get to the top. And then when I get to the top, I'm gonna to start to do my crumb coat. A crumb coat is just a thin layer of buttercream going away all the way around my cake just to lock in all of those crumbs. And when I'm happy with my crumb coat, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge until it's nice and firm. And then once it's nice and firm, I can do my final coat. So I'm doing my final coat in an American style buttercream. Um, some of you have noticed that sometimes I do the outside of my cake in a different kind of buttercream to a Swiss one. Um, the reason why is because of the decor decoration I'm going to be doing on this cake. It's just going to be a lot easier to do that with an American style buttercream. I'm going to be sharing the recipe for this buttercream very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. So now I've done my final coat, I'm going to do that little faded pink bit that's at the bottom of this cake. I've done that by doing little splodges of pink buttercream around the cake and then spreading that upwards. And then going in with a lighter shade and doing exactly the same and just spreading that upwards just so it's nice and blended. And then I go in with an even lighter shade of pink and keep spreading that upwards until I get a nice fade going up the cake. And then I just do that all the way around the cake and I go around that with a hot part knife just to help blend in the colour a lot better and get rid of some of the ridges. I do want some ridges in there because I do like some of the texture but I don't want it to be too rough if you know what I mean. So this is the finished look and I'm happy with it. I'm now going in there with some gold luster dust and some vodka to create a paint. I'm just going to go around the bottom edge of where all the pink is, doing lines. That's going to be the start of our geometric design. Well, I was kind of just making this up as I went along. So I'm just sort of doing like random lines. So they cross each other and make like triangle shapes. I think that's what geometric means. I don't actually know. I was really making this up as I went along. I wish I actually looked up a picture, but you know, this is it and I was happy with it. Now I'm gonna show you how to make some sable pastry. So in a bowl, I've got some flour, some icing sugar and some butter. You can use caster sugar. I actually wanted to use caster sugar, but I didn't have any at the time. So I threw in some icing sugar. You're just gonna breadcrumb it and rub that through your fingers until you have fine breadcrumbs. And we're gonna add in one egg yolk and just pop that and then mix that through with your hands. I'm gonna be putting the measurements for all of these ingredients in the description box below, by the way. Anyway, just mix that through with your hands. I think you're gonna to start to clump it together like I'm doing here. Just do that as much as kind of in the bowl and then tip that out onto your work surface and just continue to clump together that pastry until you have a nice smooth dough just like this. Once you've got your nice smooth dough, you're gonna put that in some cling film or saran wrap, whatever you call it, and pop that in the fridge and leave it to rest for about 15 minutes. Then flour your work surface and then roll it out until it's about a sixth, about a sixth of an inch thick. And as you can see, I'm as in, every time I roll it, I turn it round. I do that so it's rolling out evenly and also to make sure it's not sticking at the bottom. 
Now I'm going to be cutting these out with a large heart shaped cutter, it's absolutely massive this heart shaped cutter. I will link where I got this heart shaped cutter from in the description box below. You can roll this paper about three times and I did that to get about five large heart shaped biscuits. And I'm just going to pop that in the fridge again for another 15 minutes just to, just to make sure that it doesn't spread in the oven at all. Then you're going to bake this at 180 degrees for 7 minutes and then reduce the temperature to 150 degrees and bake for a further 7 minutes. And when they're done they should look nice and lightly golden just like these biscuits here. Now we're going to decorate these with some royal icing, so I'm going around this with some white icing first just to get the outline. And I'm going to fill it in with some white icing on one side, and then in the middle I'm going to fill it in with a light pink. And then going in with a darker pink on, one, on the other side. Then I'm going to start to blend it in with a toothpick just to fill in any gaps and blend in the colours, just like so. And then I start to do swipes across from the pink into the white. So just so I get like a nice sort of blended effect and just continue to blend it until I'm happy with the effect, just like this. Now I'm going to do like a geometric design. I think this is a geometric design. It, it was more just kind of different triangles. I don't know what geometric means, you know, guys. I was really making this up as I went along. I actually think this is more of a geometric design than the one that was actually on the cake. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. And I've painted over that with some gold luster dust once it was dry, obviously, and um, some vodka to create a paint and just paint over it. I tried my best just to get it on the white bits. Um, I did, you know, make a couple of mistakes as I went along, but it was a really long process doing this. Like, I don't ever want to do this ever again. It was just so long and just, ugh. But it was worth it in the end because I love how they look. And I'm going to show you how to make my chocolate sale. So I've got some parchment paper and I just scrunch it up. So it sort of has that sort of foil look to it, crinkled foil look to it. And then with some white chocolate, just simply white chocolate I melted in the microwave, spread it on, put the other bit of my parchment paper on top, and then in a baking tray with some rice, I'm going to press it inwards so it stays in sort of that curved shape inside the rice. Pop it in the fridge until it's nice and firm, and then when you take it out, you kind of end up with this sort of crinkled look of chocolate and it looks really cool. So I'm going to paint over that with gold luster dust again. This isn't the same bit of chocolate you saw before. I actually painted it without filming it and I was like, why didn't I do this? So I just made this little bit just to show you what I did basically. So going back to the cake, I'm just going to cut a little bit out just to stick our sail in there. So if it doesn't fall, end up falling over, it's nice and wedged in there. And then to secure it further, I'm going to put some buttercream around that. And we're going to do the exact same thing with our heart geometric biscuit. So just place that in there and just secure it with some buttercream again. And I'm going to decorate the cake with some sprinkles. I've got some white pearls, pink pearls, and I've got some little gold sprinkles. All the sprinkles that I'm using is from a company called Baking Time Club. They do really cool sprinkles. I've got loads of them here. Um, I love them. They are gluten-free and vegan, so anyone can have them. So I'll link you to Baking Time Club in the description box below so you can find the sprinkles that I was using. Once I've got all my sprinkles on there, that's pretty much it. And that's how I made this geometric heart design cake. cake tutorial and I hope you love this cake as much as I do and if you did then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up by hitting that like button and if you want to see more videos just like this make sure you hit that subscribe button both those ones are just down there so make sure you click both of those make me very very happy and I've got the links to all my social media bits in the description box below so make sure you follow me on Instagram and you know Facebook and everything else I know I've been a little bit quiet but you know why uh, <laughs> and also the recipe for the sablé pastry and the links to you know the cutter and uh, where I got my sprinkles from are all in the description box below. So make sure you check out that description box. It'll be really helpful for this uh, video. And um, yeah, I'll see you on my next video, which won't be too long. I will again update you on how I've been doing. Um, I'm not really sure when, but um, whenever I feel comfortable doing so. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in my next video, just like I said. And until then, take care and I'll see you later. Bye. Sprinkles.
these sprinkles, you know. I can't deal with this. 